Hello Cancer, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a timeless spirit message, so when you're drawn to it, it's when you're meant to hear it. It won't resonate with everyone. So you can look at your moon and rising signs and that might suit you better. We have Treasure Island. Now this is little turtle here is moving towards, he's getting through the water, he's going with the flow. And that's part of the the uh, it's the best path to take if you want to get your blessings is to just go with the flow and not fight against the turn, the current but he's going towards his blessings here and this is a nine so he's taking his time he's going with the flow and he's going to reach his destination your which would be your 10. finding now finding can be finding your way forward overcoming your challenges it could be connecting in with yourself it could be actually finding out which path you want to go down but there's a lot of paying attention here to yourself and your instincts and your feelings your heart chakra it's about understanding where your blessings lie most definitely and finding the way forward through challenges confidence the spirit is suggesting here that you've got the confidence you need here, you're finding your way forward, you're overcoming challenges here, and through going with the flow, you're definitely going to achieve your goals. Now, we'll see what this is all about, because there's blessings up ahead for you. So stay confident. I know there can be challenging times. It's about being confident that you can achieve your goals. Believing in yourself, most definitely, is always the way forward to any kind of achievement. Three of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. The Ace of Swords, the beautiful overall central energy is the Empress card, the King of Pentacles, the beautiful Young Empress, which is the Nine of Pentacles as well here. The mature energy of the King of Cups, two kings are on this table, and the Three of Pentacles. Now this here is, there might be worries and upsets that you're dealing with. Don't worry about getting through your challenges and your hurdles. You've got what it takes here. You've got the confidence to overcome any worries or setbacks that you might be going through. You will find the way forward through listening to your intuition. Going with the flow here is highly important to go towards your blessings. But you are prepared to work well. You've got good skill set here. You're working well. You're laying solid foundations for your future. And when we lay solid foundations and we work with people, this is a collaborative card. So we're going with the flow of things where, you know, teamwork is a good idea here. If you are worried about things, you might want to consult another person here work with them to overcome the challenges here but you've definitely got the confidence and the skills to overcome them so don't worry about the challenges that are coming forward you're being respected for what you're bringing to the table here you're able to work through things and work with people and that's going to be your godsend most definitely and you're finding common ground with people here you get along with people here it's about getting along with people this also here is about making clear, intelligent, clear-cut decisions, intelligent decisions about your future. So you'll find a solution. You're finding your way forward. You're doing well. Stay confident here. Don't lose faith just because there's challenges that come along. Don't get swept up in the worry of things. Find a way of accepting the situation that you find yourself in. That's always a good way of going forward. Um, and trusting and believing here that you can find uh, you can find a way forward and go down the right path. Now, you could be cutting people in situations out of your life that no longer serve you, but this is more to do with working with people. Um, it can be for some of you. It can be the divorce card, you see, or the singles card. But the Queen of Swords is somebody who makes good decisions. She suffers. She doesn't suffer fools gladly. She, so once she's made up her mind here, and I'm saying she, it's not a gender specific reading. Once you've made up your mind, you're going to go forward here and nobody's going to put you off. But you've got the intelligence here and you've got the confidence to go forward. It could even involve you speaking up and putting your ideas forward. Um, this can be the card here. It's about um, clear communication. It could be about researching, gathering information. 
but doing the soul searching, not getting up in your head about things and worrying about things, but understanding you have the abilities and the confidence to overcome the challenges. And like I say, this is the clear headedness. You might want to take time out and listen to your intuition, step back from the concerns that you may have to find your way forward, but you're definitely going to get the clarity you need. There's good communication coming. There's good instruction coming if you need to seek advice. And there's also good communication skills that you have here to go forward. And this is about your independence. It's about being independent minded here, standing on your own two feet. She's a very confident energy. She has high self-esteem. She makes good decisions for herself here. She knows how much of herself to invest in a person, situation and environment. And because she is stable, um, she has a stable approach to life. When people look at her, they know that she's a stable person. Again, not a gender specific reading, remember, we're talking about the energies on the cards. So any challenges that come along, you have the confidence, you have the ability, you have the insight, the knowledge here to overcome things. You work well with people here. Um, you're able to take advice. You seek out the correct information um, and you're prepared to speak up and you become this beautiful, uh, attractive young empress. And when she, when people look at her, they know that she's got all this well-balanced energy around her. She's sensible in her approach to life and sensible in the way she goes about herself. And this is you coming into your own. You are going to overcome the challenges. You're going to get your goals. You're compassionate. You're passionate about what you're investing in. You're going forward with love and consideration. Uh, you're creating beautiful things around you, most definitely. And like I say, you're going to get all the blessings and the rewards for your approach to your spiritual journey here. Um, you've got this licked. So please don't worry about it. This is unnecessary worry, but I'm sure that you understand that. You know, there's worries that come along. That even when we're trying to achieve things, we will hit hurdles. But you are, you've got the ability to create a beautiful well stable and stable environment and this could also be pregnancy for some of you as well so don't worry about that if you're wanting to be pregnant this could be uh, happening for some of you as well you're going to be very happy with the outcome here you're going to come into this beautiful energy of finding happiness being confident being at one with yourself most definitely so it's a very high vibrational energy and even when there's ripples this king of cups is someone who maintains an emotionally stable approach to things. And this is part of your beauty of creating harmony in your life. So he's not worried. He's not up in his head about things. He takes a well-balanced approach and that helps him make well-balanced decisions for his future here. So beautiful things coming in. It also enables you here to build great stability for yourself. Now, this could be in any area of your life. It could be if you're seeking promotion. It could be if there's financial uh, investments you want to make or any opportunities that you're taking up here. Through being prepared to work with people, being skilled at what you do, uh, putting the hard work in here, you're going to create beautiful things for your future. And you could even end up, you'll be able to sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labour here. So this is long-term commitments. We do understand when there's long-term commitments, there will be times where we will feel a bit concerned about what we're dealing with. But I don't feel that you're going to overindulge in that too long. Uh, you're going to sit in that energy too long. I feel that you have the confidence and the knowledge to go forward and you're understanding what needs to be done here to reach your goals. It's a beautiful reading and you will create beautiful things. You will come out with all the treasures. And of course here, I've never said this, but there's happiness. There's joy. You're going to want to celebrate your achievements when you reach them. There could be invitations coming forward here because you're looking very attractive here, very well balanced, and that attracts attention. And when you're in this beautiful um, empress energy, people are drawn to you and there's beautiful things and invitations can come forward. We'll just take a Divine Direction card for it, please. Goals. And that's what this is about. It's about your goals. It's time to, for you to take your goals off the back burner and go after them. And I think that you're doing that. You're doing that. It's definitely about your goal setting. If you've got goals here and there's something you really want to go for, it's time to make these decisions here. Crucial decisions. Finding out what your goal is and having the confidence to go forward. But I really think that you've mastered the art of achieving. 
I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.